All right, 612 now, and it is the final Friday of the month, and that means it's time for our monthly visit with the mayor for the final time this year. The Honorable Mayor of Dayton, Gary Leisel, thanks for joining us this year. It's, well, it's been nice having you in. That's the 12th or 13th time I've been here. Yes. Well, yeah. that's great. You know, you wanted the opportunity to come on and let us know. Overall, you know, it's been a good year for you and the city for uh, the most part. Really, I, I, I think it has. Uh, people don't sometimes get to hear all the good news, but mm -hmm. uh, I, I think our economic development department was... Uh, exceeded expectations. They created 480 jobs, retained about 2,400. Um, a bunch of new businesses have opened in, in, in Dayton. I, actually, I'm quite impressed with the number of restaurants that are getting opened in the last couple of weeks. I see, see reports that, that restaurants are coming back. And, you know, of course, we had the announcement with GE and, this, and, right. and the hopes that uh, Sandy Mendelson and Jeff Samuelson have with, with that uh, old Delco building. So um, I think the prospects are looking up. And I think people are people are stepping up to the plate. Business owners are stepping up and becoming trailblazers and, mm. and taking a bit of a risk on on uh, Dayton. Well, as we look to the year ahead, possible cutbacks from the state. How concerned are you about that? Uh, yeah, 2012 will be a tough year. Well, we're anticipating 2012 will be a tough year simply because of what's going on at the state level. They got an eight billion dollar deficit, and, and my understanding is if they if they got rid of every single state employee, they still couldn't fill that wow. hole. So. Um, we're anticipating certain things. Um, you know, my, my message next year pretty much is going to be, you know, we can't depend on our federal government for support. We're not going to be able to depend on our state government for support. So the only people we can depend on is ourselves. Mm -hmm. So we're going to have to addy up and kick in and, and do it. Is that going to so, include a regional approach now? Uh, we, well, we're, we're having more discussions about that, too. I saw that in the paper yesterday about, mm -hmm. uh, about uh, consolidating and stuff. And I think, I think more, more than any time ever would be now to, to open up those discussions. Dayton and the county are open. It's just getting everyone else on board if, if they want to participate. But I, I don't think you're going to find there's going to be any, any complaints. Almost has to start at the state level, it, though, doesn't it? Well, we've got to get some laws changed at the state right. level. Right. All right, New Year's resolution real quick. Any? Get my roof fixed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm two-fifths of the way through, and I've got six of the eight angles done. You know, when you have to get up there and you've got... 18 inches to work on, <laughs> and you're soldering. Right. I would have never taken that all, but hey, good for you, yeah. and I admire you, and I, I think it's great that you want to do that. Save yourself a ton of money. There's no $33,000. Hey, yeah. just on behalf of all of us here at Sunrise, we, we do appreciate your willingness to join us so early in the morning and give us your thoughts on the city's future. And, you know, you can tell the passion that you come, each, you come with each and every visit, and we, we thank you for that. We hope you have a happy, healthy, and prosperous new year, and you get that roof done. Well, same to you, and, and, and you can help me with the roof if you want. <laughs> 